I have a very special routine that requires a difficult to find glass. It's a normal, modern glass. However, it's been made in a very specific way that allows me to achieve an illusion I've wanted to create for many years. And here it is, the perfect glass for one of my pet routines. And now I can share the glass and the routine with you. My routine is called Victorian Coins and Glass. I want to show you a classic little piece of magic. It involves this glass and these coins. I'm going to put the glass here, and all I need you to do is to tell everyone, in a nice, loud, clear voice, how many coins do you see there? Four. Back in the old days, they would talk about this thing called ether. It's sort of like the force from Star Wars. It's the idea that I could manipulate objects from afar. Now, I'm, I'm not going to get much closer than this, but if I could just do this. Can't quite see it yet, but when I squeeze, something appears. In a loud, clear voice, tell everyone exactly how many coins you see in your hand. Three. Very good, very good. How many coins do you see now? Three. That's uh, three in the glass, and how many do you see, sir? One. Um, but again, if I could manipulate objects from afar using this old ethereal force. That's all it takes. Sir, go ahead and take a look. Make sure they're real. A loud, clear voice again, Emily, so everyone can hear. How many coins do you see? Two. <laughs> very good, I know. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to change things up a little bit. Um, I want you to go ahead and hold out your hand for me. Uh, how many coins do you see here? Two. Very good. I'm going to give you the two coins. How many do you see? Two. That's right. They go into the glass, right? But if all I have to do is cast the shadow of my hand here and over here, that's all it takes. Loud, clear voice again. How many coins do you see? One. That's right. And um, do me a favor. One at a time, drop the coins in the glass so everyone can hear exactly how many coins you have. Three coins, three coins, right? We'll try it again. Uh, no, uh, hold on your hand. We, we won't use the glass quite yet. I'm going to count the coins in your hand one at a time. All right, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four coins. Is that fair? Yeah. It is indeed. I'm going to take one coin out, remove it. Go ahead and close up your hand. Turn it over. You smile. Very good. And I said, you've been doing such a good job helping me out. I'm, what I'm going to have you do is this. Hold on your hand. Palm up like that. Um, I'm going to, um, all, I, all I need you to do is close up your hand. Turn it over. Turn it over and smile. Another satisfied customer, everybody's happy, see? Because um, you've been doing such a great job, you're actually going to get to do the magic for her. But what's going to happen is this, I want you to hold your hand out over the glass. On the count of three, I want you to open your hand. On the count of three. One, two, three. Did you? What did he, what did you? He's wearing the long sleeves, but I, I tell you, okay, there's only one thing that could possibly happen. Wait, don't move. Count the coins from your hand into the glass one at a time so that we can all hear exactly how many you got. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that's the Victorian coins in glass. It's an interactive coin routine that they can see and hear. It works for three people or 300. And it's easy. Once you have the glass, you're going to find so many different things that you can do with it, so many different ways you can be creative with it. It opens up a lot of potential. You can apply it to different routines that you already do, and it makes things that are small play much bigger. The reason I perform this routine is because it's visual, it's interactive, and because they can hear the moment of magic. It allows the routine to play for larger groups. And that's the sort of thing that makes you and your magic more memorable. Victorian Coins and Glass, for anyone, anytime, anywhere. <laughs>